Nigerian Society of Engineers is worried about the increasing rate of building collapse across the country. It wants collaborative measures put in place by both stakeholders and the federal government to resolve this issue. Mira Mohammed reports. A steady increase in building collapse over the past few years is a cause for worry. Evidence from various government agencies and review of data shows that between 1974 and 2019, 221 buildings have collapsed in Nigeria. And more than half of these disasters have occurred in Lagos. 167 cases were reported in Lagos between the year 2000 to 2021. 78.4% of the cases were residential buildings, 12.8% commercial, and the remaining 8.8% were institutionalized. The Nigerian Society of Engineers is seeking a solution to this problem. It wants to promote local engineering beyond the shores of Nigeria to create an avenue for integration among local and foreign engineering sector. At this conference, the president of Nigerian Society of Engineers Tassil Saad Gidari Wudil explained that building collapses are caused by different factors. It's more uh, uh, informed about uh, building collapses. We must say the facts here. Building collapse is not one problem or one cause of building collapse. There are so many causes that can make a building to collapse. The organizers of the annual expo stress on the need to promote engineering through Africa free trade area. The essence of this um, platform is to discuss implementation. How can our engineers leverage on commerce to provide services and also products beyond the shores of Nigeria? The agency calls on professionals and construction companies to come together to share knowledge and put a stop to building collapse. Mare Mohamed. CBC News, Abuja.